Hi everybody. If you've got a Pontiac G6 convertible and your pump runs out of juice, hydraulic fluid, the top won't go up or it won't go down depending on where it is. If you were unfortunate enough to have it down when the thing ran out of juice, then here's how you're going to go and fix it and try and get it back up. I don't even know yet if this is going to work, but we're going to give it a try. First thing you have to do is pull loose this trim that's right here. You can barely see it, but once you get this trim loose, now you can't remove it, there's not enough room, but once you get it loose and you can get it away, you can actually see the pump that's sitting right down there. Now you can barely even see it, and worse yet, you're going to have to reach down inside there with your arms to get to the cap that's on the reservoir to get it filled. Here's a little closer look. Okay, you can see, well, you can barely see, that I'm having to pull away this trim, and then once I get it pulled away, you reach down inside of here with your arms. You notice a little blood here from when I did this earlier. It'll get worse. You gotta reach down inside, and you can barely get your arms down in there. And you can see I can barely get either one in. There's a cap down there, but it's not really a regular cap that you can unscrew by your hands. It's really, really hard to see. There's where it goes. You reach down in there, and you can, once you finally start to get it loose, you can take it loose by your hands. 50-50 chance you're going to drop the cap down inside, but don't worry about that. You can get it back later. Here's what that cap looks like. I was barely able to get it down in there and get it out. And you can see there's a little O-ring on there. And I got it turned loose. I barely got it to turn. That's a 13 millimeter socket. I was able with both hands to get down in there at an angle. I never got down in there straight. But I got enough of an angle where I could get right on top of there and get it to turn a little bit. And once I got it to turn a little bit, then I could reach back down in there with my hands to get it to come loose. It wasn't easy. A little blood. I scraped all in here. You can see a little more blood right there. Not much. I'll survive. Around the house, I scrounged up a little bit of rubber hose and a funnel from the kitchen. Don't tell my wife. Okay, I was able to snake the hose down in there. Um, by the way, when you're down in there working with your hands down in there, you're working blind. You can't see a thing, so you've got to feel around with your fingers and see what you're uh, feeling. Anyway, I snaked the hose down in there, and now I'm going to fill it up. Um, I wasn't able to get the GM product that everywhere tells you that you've got to have. Um, and I can't remember the part number. I'll put it in here when I do a little post-production on this. But I was able to pick this up at AutoZone. And I believe this is what is the suitable sub now being used everywhere. If not, I'll flush it later. So, with the hose snake down in there, I'm going to fill it up. I am sure that when I do this, I'm going to overflow. Because I can't see it while I'm doing this. So I'm going to pour some in. Ah, this stuff is green. I don't know if that matters to anybody or not. The stuff that was leaking out was clear. I guess that'll be a good indication of when the system is flushed. I don't have any idea how much to put in. I'm going to try and not overflow too badly. It's real slow through this tiny hose. So one of the things about doing this that I've already discovered is patience is a key. I don't know how much this thing takes, but obviously a lot because it's not overflowing. I'm going to double check and make sure I'm not just pouring it around the side. No, nope, it's not pouring around the side, so I'm going to keep adding. I just kept pouring and pouring, and finally I was able to look down inside. And because this fluid is green and not clear, I was able to see that it was almost full, so I didn't puke too much all over the place. Um, so now, uh, I'm not putting the cap back on. No way I'm going to be able to put that back on until this thing is up. So I'm going to 
try it and see what happens. See. I don't know if this is going to work or not, but here goes. Well, that didn't work. It ran for a while and then stopped. I hear the motor running. Maybe it's just trying to pump up the juice because everything was empty. But it runs for a little bit and then quits. So far, no good. Well, it's turned out the trunk lid never moved. At least I can still get it open but that hasn't fixed anything. I'm probably going to have to do it the hard way and go through all that it takes to pull the top up manually. Uh, the motor makes sounds. I hear the motor running, but the trunk doesn't unlatch to try and raise the top at all. So at least now you know how to fill up the reservoir from the trunk if you have to do that sometime. Well, after an epic failure trying to get that top up, I uh, gave up. Well, the wrong word. Um, I have given up for now. It started raining, and so I'm coming back in to figure out what my next step is. But with an epic failure always goes an epic margarita. Ah, I needed that. I tried several more times to get the top up. Every time I would move it, try to move it to get the top up, I could hear the motor running. It would run for maybe five seconds, something like that, and then it would quit. I would try again, it would quit. I would get a message that said, top move not complete. I was afraid that I would get at some point in time where I was halfway in between. So I tried to put the top back down, and every time I put the top back down, each time I pushed the button, I instantly got a top move complete. So I tried it and tried it, and finally I gave up. It started raining, so I kind of had to give up. Um, so I wanted to come in and figure out what my next step is. But at least I did get the reservoir completely filled up. Um, Actually, I never overflowed. I could see it well enough to where I didn't overflow it, but it was full. And so now I at least know that's not the problem, and I'll figure out what the next step is. Um, I'll probably make a video or at least take some pictures of that and let you know what I find. This started out to be just a simple bat wing cable replacement, but now it's turned it into a project. Oh, and by the way, that little funnel for my wife, she still doesn't know that I've used it. Um, good luck to you.